As the Mandela family mourned the passing of Zinzi Swa Mandela today, it's also on this day that Nelson Mandela's son, Tembegile, died back in 1969. In a brief statement, the Mandela family said, it is with great sadness that we announce the death of Mama Zinzi Mandela, youngest daughter of the late ANC stalwarts Nelson Kholishata Mandela and Winnie Matigizela Mandela. She survived by her children and grandchildren. Now, Zinzi Mandela, who is South Africa's outgoing ambassador to Denmark, died at the age of 59. The cause of her death has not been disclosed, but for more reaction, we are getting several, has been throughout the day from various political parties. We now speak to EFF National Spokesperson, Delisile Nguenya. A very good evening to you, and thank you so much for speaking to us. So the shock that the country experienced, what is the reaction of the EFF leader, Julius Malema, when he heard the news? Uh, Good evening. Thank you so much for having us. Um, This is a sad day indeed, especially for us in the EFF and for our CIC and President Julius Malema, who is still battling to deal with the news. Um, It's something that I don't think anyone expected. So it's a very painful situation for all of us and we are really struggling to come to terms with it. Mm, And they had a close relationship, didn't they? Your CIC with uh, the Mandela family uh, and uh, Zinzi herself. What has he said now or even recently about the importance of the ties uh, at this time? Um, Well, the CIC has always spoken fondly of the family, especially Umama, uh, Winnie Mandela and, and Mama Zinzi. Um, at the moment, uh, he is in a position that is very difficult to even express himself. So we are all giving him the space that he needs to be able to deal with it and, 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 and be able to come to terms with it. Or as soon as he's ready, he'll be able to speak about it and be able to express himself clearly. Mm. But we all understand the pain he's feeling. Uh, uh, Mama Zinzi was like a sister, a mother, a friend to to him. So, yeah, it's, it's a very painful situation and very hard to deal with. Mm. But the party itself, its view of the legacy that uh, she leaves behind, what would you like to say of that, especially her pronouncement on the party's transformative trajectory, where it should be going? Um, she has never uh, hidden her or, or, or failed to express her support for the EFF from the onset, from the beginning. She was very vocal for supporting the EFF and all its policies. Uh, even uh, our, 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 the first uh, most important pillar, which is the, the land expropriation, she has come out very clearly that that's what she supports and feels should happen in this country. And in any other uh, 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 policy, in any other situation that uh, we had to express a policy with, she has always have supported. Even at the time when the EFF was the only party then that uh, wanted uh, FW de Klerk to to account for for the racism acts that he had uh, shown in the country for the killing of the people when he felt that it was not a crime against against our people. She was very vocal about it because you will remember she she was in the middle of all those uh, at the time when the apartheid regime was very rough and it was very tough for everyone. She expressed she experienced it firsthand. So she was very very. Uh, 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 vocal and she wanted uh, such things to be known and people who are responsible for, for, for such acts should be called out and should take the responsibility and account for what they did. Mm. Just as a country, what do you think we should be doing to honor her life and her legacy? Um, you know, to us as the EFF, especially the, the women in the EFF who have always looked up to Umama Wini, who have always looked up to Umama Zinzi Mandela uh, from the 80s, you know, she, she was very inspiring in her bravery and her courage. It is very important that as women, especially in this time where uh, 
it is clear that uh, women's lives do not matter, uh, black women especially. We must carry the, the torch. We must take where she left off and make sure that the women of South Africa, the black women of South Africa, they get the economic empowerment that we're fighting for. And they come. we come to a point where in South Africa, women are respected, are treated as equal as men, because those are the things that she stood for. So it is up to us to make sure as well that we carry on and we make sure that the legacy she has left us does not die. Thank you so much. Uh, EFF National Spokesperson, Daily Sile Ngwenya.